time, they're trying to convince me I'm insane. They were trying to get me to take psychotic medication. Yeah. And when he talked about the drugs, the mental drugs, I've had an episode of that. Really? So when he was talking about, yo, I, you know, I went in for two pills and the seven pills, that's real. Very stressful for someone to constantly walk behind you and say, you're insane. I've heard the stories of what happens and I've seen these kinds of things play out in front of me. And it always happens around the time of their career where it seems as though they're crossing over the next plateau. Okay, this is very controversial. Dave Chappelle has said in an interview the reason why someone might want to kill Jamie Foxx. How did the comedian find out about this? Has the same happened with other celebrities? What secrets does Dave know about Hollywood that we don't? I will tell you about all this below, but before starting the video, I invite you to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more content like this. When you're a guy that generates money, yeah. people have a vested interest in control. Without further ado, let's start with the video. Jamie Foxx's current state of health is something really worrying, both for him and for his fans, because no one exactly knows what is happening to him. It is already the third week since his hospitalization, and there has been no news about what happened to him, nor why he is there. According to media such as TMZ, his condition is very serious. So, Jamie Foxx suffered a very serious medical emergency that landed him in the hospital. And according to sources close to the family, his condition slowly recovers as the days go by. It's impossible to know what's going on when not even Jamie has given any news about what's going on with him. His last statement were a few days ago in a brief statement through his Instagram account, writing in one of his stories. Appreciate all the love. Feeling blessed. And millions of people have seen it because on the platform he has approximately 16.2 million followers. This is one of the only times in Hollywood history that a person does not announce why he is actually hospitalized, and it is something that worries everyone. There are those who speculate that Jamie must be serious enough to have him hospitalized and not give an official statement. Many people have spoken about this worrying situation. Even the famous and controversial comedian Dave Chappelle has contributed his opinions on the problem. He has said in the middle of an interview a few years ago that celebrities are not hospitalized, that if this happens, it is for something hidden. Of course, a statement like that makes us rethink what is happening at the moment. Perhaps what is happening right now is that either someone has made an attempt on Jamie's life, or there is something that the actor or his agents are trying to cover up at all costs. So let me ask you this. What is happening in Hollywood that a guy that tough will be on the street waving a gun, screaming, they are trying to kill me. Yeah. What's going on? Well, I wasn't walking away from the money. Yeah. I was walking away from the circumstances uh -huh. that, that were coming with the newfound plateau. Why do we bring the words of Dave Chappelle to the table? Something similar happened in 1996 when actor Martin Lawrence made a scandal in the middle of the Los Angeles street with a loaded gun. The news was brought to you by the New York Daily Post in an article called Martin Lawrence Wanders LA with Loaded Gun, screaming at passing cars in 1996. Here it is explained that the actor was on top of a car with a loaded gun, screaming like crazy. When he was intercepted by the authorities and in front of witnesses, he said, I always told everyone that they would come looking for me one day. After the incident occurred, the actor was hospitalized and, according to the reports from his doctor, he has said that he forgot to take his medicine. Wow. I didn't know that not taking meds made you buy a gun and act like a nut on the street. Feels like it might be a lot of that. That is why perhaps the modus operandi of film production companies is to pass off their actors as patients who recover quickly and who actually have a serious problem and have to solve it, but the actors don't want to. Will the same situation happen with Jamie Foxx and did he actually do something wrong that Netflix wants to hide? It always tends to happen that actors, when their ego gets high, tend to commit certain crimes or take drugs until they have an overdose. Of course, we are not saying that this is the case for Jamie because we don't even know his current state of health, but it could be a possibility. Also, let's keep in mind that Jamie is acting in a Netflix blockbuster that nothing comes cheap. So the producer may want to hide something very bad that the actor did or happened to him and they seek to calm the waters, of course, without giving a statement in the media. Jamie's problem is quite troubling. Whenever a celebrity is hospitalized, they usually recover in a few days or weeks, and it is not necessary to announce it in the media. But on this occasion, the comedian not only does not announce what happened to him, but also does not walk out of the hospital after weeks, which is reason enough for concern in the public eye. A bad place. Right. And here's it. And when he talked about the drugs, the mental drugs, I've had an episode. His doctors have given the statement to a New York Post column saying that nothing had changed 
and that the actor was still in the same condition after his health problem last month. Undoubtedly, another hypothesis that states that the problem has not changed at all, and you can see some problems in the air. Many weeks have passed since the first and only statement about Jamie's health status, which was given by his daughter named Kareen Fox. The message read as follows. We want to share that my father, Jamie Fox, experienced a medical complication yesterday, Tuesday, April 11th. Fortunately, due to quick action and great care, he is already on the mend. After this statement, he has not said anything else in the media in reference to his father and the state of health in which he is. For its part, a source consulted by People Magazine has said the following about the actor's condition, saying, The doctors are doing more tests and want to be completely sure that he will be fine before authorizing his release from the hospital. It is hard to believe all the sources because by not being certain, you do not know if what one says is true and what others say is a lie. Because one says that he is well or stable and another source says that he is very serious. Who can we really believe? It is too complex at a time like this where neither the actor nor the family have given an updated statement on the situation weeks after the incident occurred. The same people source has advised that the fact that the actor should keep his stress levels low because at the moment, the hospital is the place where he last wants to be at the moment. As he argues that he has many projects underway, he gets things done, he's focused, and he's crafty. What happened to him medically is serious enough to keep him in the hospital. He stated along with other details. Some say the reason they don't say anything about it and keep everything hidden is because his upcoming movie, Back in Action, which was shooting when he was hospitalized, has cost too much money to make. And the platform perhaps was afraid to announce that his main character is at risk of death. Why are they afraid of this? Because the shoot was set to end at the end of April this year, so it was close to finish before Jamie is hospitalized. You have to understand that a movie is expensive, and this production company between pre-production and filming has spent around $100 million on this blockbuster. And let's also remember that they have hired Cameron Diaz, and they have spent a lot of money just having her and Jamie as the visible face of this production that is halfway through at the moment. So an unfinished film and having spent so much money sets off alarm bells among Netflix investors who want the least at the moment of crisis in the country is to lose even more capital. So perhaps they are keeping everything secret because this type of situation does not bring good publicity. Obviously, these are simple theories, but maybe it's not that far from reality. Now the question is for you. What do you think about Jamie not announcing what is happening to him in the media? What do you really think is going on? What do you think about what Dave Chappelle has said? Leave me your answers below in the comments. Do you like our content? Do not stop being subscribed to our channel. And if you are not, I invite you to subscribe and also leave a like to enjoy more content similar to this. See you in the next video. I should document this, right? Get out too with a camera. The big cannon like in the pack. Put my light on here. Do that again, Puff. Do that again. I missed that one.